Hey guys, I'm here again. I recorded this the same day. Um, so some persons reached out to me and wanted me to present this on Behance. So I'm going to show you how I upload my designs on Behance, um, how I make them look like a one one flow because people say they find post their post on Behance having those white spacing in between those white margins um yeah so i'm going to show you this in just a short video this is really going to be brief i would um i would export this and uh, so i can show you i haven't exported this so i'll do this quickly two seconds and yes guys everything has been exported right now let's dive straight into behance so i'm um, in my behance channel and this was like a project i did for for uba um yeah so i have other projects here as well so let's go straight into my profile and over here i have my profile so the next thing i like to do is click on share your work click on projects once you click on projects this screen will load it to bring out some buttons of all the contents that you have towards the right so to continue to continue if you have like a write-up you can first add a text while well, i want to add the images so i'll go to my downloads where i have them and i will start uploading them so first off i'll start with the first one and i would also just click image and add you know what you can just select everything and upload them so click but why i like to do them one after the other is so i don't have like um if if there are many i'll upload them one after the other so i don't have like um, them switching places um so instead of number two being at number two is like at number five but behance has actually done like a very good work and as you can see um, but you can see that I still have like some things that had changed position you can see what I was talking about so I don't be scared when you have this it can be fixed you can see like the last one is now at the top which is not supposed to be so how do you correct this you just have to bring your your Figma file closer zoom out a bit so we can see which is number two and which is supposed to go last so with that you know i'll just bring this to the center yeah and so with this we have number one as correct so we'll go to reorder click on this and go to reorder project and over here you can now reorder so you go into your figma file and you see which one is supposed to come next and so if you look at this um we're going to determine which is supposed to come next so this is supposed to come next you can see the cut so it tells you this is supposed to come next which is supposed to come before it um after it this so this is supposed to come after it and then this that is bent um is this this obviously is going to be last uh, we have this this is this one um this one is supposed to be here and then this one just below it and then we have this one right i think that was what we had we had this one before the single one so before the single one so the single one goes downwards this comes on top of it and i think that is what we had yes so it will be reordered in two seconds now to make this you can see i i still have like those white spacing to make it obvious for you um i can change the color of even the white spacing so um it's it's obvious enough so there's a white space and this is looking like it's not one file so how do i correct this all i need to do is click on styles and you can see this margin um this content spacing so i'll first off 
uh, you know let me change the background color so that you can see that it's obvious um, it's obviously not what we want and so this margin this spacing gives you that spacing you can see how things are lodging so all i do is send it to zero and that is it guys i would change this back to white or whichever color you want it to be if you still want it to be like a background color you can like use the eyedropper tool and pick that color and save it and you're going to have this composition but i wouldn't want that i want it to be white so i'm going to leave it at white save that and yeah guys i have the presentation so what do i have to do next it is very simple so if you want to watch till this point it's also cool continue and i'm going to choose like edit the cover and i'm going to choose like particular screen to be um this screen um i like twisted screens so i, I will just create one so i'll take this aside and i would create like this i want to use this as my screen so enlarge this and just bring it downwards a bit yeah somewhere like this i would enclose this a bit group this and just take it downwards a bit amazing and then i can now export that i would come here and click add and yeah so we have that over there mind you behance have like that the display size so you can find it online if you want and this will take some time it will upload and um i just have to be sure that is exactly what i want if it doesn't give me what i want then i would exactly so i can move this to give like a perspective of what i want and then click crop at this moment i'm going to type google um um we google google sas projects presentation dummy all right project tags um this is where you put like project tags you can put ui design um you'll find some here yeah, user interface so i like to just pick from there uh, we have websites we have you can type sas um you can type figma because these are like what people will be searching for um you can type um ux design and you can choose up to 10 well i'll leave it at that and then i'll tick how would you want to categorize this um project um, product design and um yeah if you click this you can add an a description like a description of this i forgot this what tool was used um, this is where you tell them tell the system what tool was used and it was purely in figma so um, we have that in figma we have um this part you click on it and you go to description a dummy presentation of a sas real estate real estate dashboard yeah so this is fine you can write as much as you want and then all i need to do next is click publish and it takes some time and it will publish guys and yeah i will just copy this link because i'm going to share it with a community and so next up i like my stuff obviously you need to be the first to like your stuff and then you can just scroll through and see what you've presented yeah it's it's loading don't be scared and you you just see what you've presented at the end the network is a bit slow so you're going to find everything loaded just the way you want it one pager and people would feel like this was just one design 
but yeah it's it's separate you can see i can flip through it and see like the different screens that were uploaded and that's pretty much it guys um if you found this very useful and helpful as usual please leave me a thumbs up like this video uh please subscribe to this channel it would actually motivate me to bring more videos to you guys and until next time guys i'll see you in the next video yeah am i forgetting something yeah sure i'm rooting for you guys see you guys in the next video and until then keep creating magic peace out